What's up guys, it's Dalmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Fat Electrician video. This one is another gun one. It's actually, it's been a little bit since we've done a gun one. So this one is the Model 1911 Anti-Cow Projectile 45 ACP. So, not entirely sure what this one was. Uh, somebody suggested while I was on stream that I do this one. Uh, seems pretty interesting. The Anti-Cow Projectile part, I don't know if that's just a joke or if that was actually its original intended purpose. I guess we'll find out. Uh, but anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. The 1911, one sidearm to rule them all. Frodo. Forged in the fires of Mount Doom. Wait, that's the wrong story. Today we're talking about the <laughs> 1911. And while wielding it may not make you invisible, if you get hit by it, there's gonna be a lot less of you to see. Invented by America's patron saint of hole punching, John Moses Browning. This pistol has won two <laughs> world wars and was America's primary sidearm from 1911 till 1985. And even after 19... Okay, so I'm guessing 1911 the years where it gets its name from okay 1985 when the military switched over to the m9 beretta a lot of special forces units kept using the 1911 because they liked the stopping power but i'd rather have the m9 because i have 15 rounds of nine millimeter and the 1911 only has eight rounds of 45 acp but look if you need more than eight rounds of 45 acp you either need to suck less or bring more friends don't get me wrong i'm not <laughs> saying i don't like nine millimeter i do i'm just saying if something goes bump in the night and i have the option i'm reaching for a 1911 and 45 acp i mean it's even in the name how many rounds does it take to solve a problem with the m9 mm. Nine. How many rounds does it take to solve a problem with the 1911? Mm, one. And then you're gonna have to call 911. <laughs> oh, that's such a good line. One one to pick that shit up because you can't just buy body bags off Amazon, even in America. Holy shit, I stand corrected. It's uh, even a. I was about to say, I bet you you probably can. That he, yeah. Like I'm not. I bet you you can buy those in Canada, honestly. I don't like I'm gonna get like searched by the feds for like checking this out, but like Amazon body bags <laughs> uh, Sorry FBI agent um, Yep, yeah, yeah, you can buy them on here Cool. I am now on a watch list, so a bestseller American Special Forces Best units love this weapon so much that they have their own variant called the M45A1, and the absolute only way to get your hands on one is to be in a Special Forces unit. So That's why do the baddest cool. men on the planet prefer this weapon? Well, because in a way, it wasn't really designed for convention. So with those ones, can like, are you legally allowed to own one of those if you're not a Special Forces? Because how, how does that work when it comes to, like, I'm guessing you don't take your gun when you leave the military, right? I know a lot of guys bring their own weapons to the military, which I find absolutely fucking hilarious, right? Like, just the fact that, like, some dude's gonna, you know, raid his own stash and bring it, <laughs> bring it in for his missions and shit, but, um, yeah, you, anything that's, like, given to you in the military, I'm assuming they, they want it back, probably, right? So there's no, there's probably no military surplus or anything like that for these guns. Conventional unhealth care. It was kind of invented for veterinary unhealth care. You see, in 1899, during the Moro Rebellion, American forces would go toe to toe with the Tan Sun rebels. These guys were known for having extremely high battle morale and a little bit of a drug problem. Like they did <laughs> enough opium to not care if they got shot, type of a drug problem. And the pistol that they had back then just didn't have enough stopping power. So, identifying this unhealth care deficit, Uncle Sam wanted to get a bigger bullet. A bigger bullet means a bigger hole, and a bigger hole means less bad guy. That's just simple arithmetic. And to figure out the best sized bullet for the job, Uncle Sam decided to conduct a science experiment. And it got violently American very quick. It was known as the Thompson Lagarde test. And basically they just took a bunch of different sizes of bullets and they started shooting cows to see what the smallest bullet was that would still kill a cow with a single round. <laughs> Bro. Uh, I mean, I bet, I bet they had steak for a while. That's fucking funny. You know, because that's not overkill. 150 pound bad guy, 2,000 pound piece of livestock, potato, potato, same thing, <laughs> I guess. Look, I'm not saying it's right, I'm just saying it happened. So the results of this science experiment were that the next pistol needed to be chambered in 45 ACP. John Moses Browning then specifically designed the 1911 for 45 ACP. I'm trying to tell you that this thing is rated for bovine unhealth care, okay? <laughs> Uncle Sam wanted to switch over to the M9 to save some money on ammunition, and the special forces community was like, fuck that. This thing's built with anti-cow technology, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> Stop anti cow technology. <laughs> uh, 
Fuck, that's funny. It's such a dumb joke, but it just it gets me so good. Stop a cow, it'll definitely stop a bad guy. Stopping power is not even a good term. It's more like you're gonna go the other way now, power. You get hit with yeah, this probably. thing, you're gonna look like a video game character whose controller just got disconnected. In conclusion, the 1911 <laughs> is one of the most popular handguns of all time. In modern day, available in multiple calibers and different sizes and barrel lengths, including three, four, and five inch barrels. But in the US military, it always has and always will be the five inch barrel, which has affectionately been dubbed government length because nobody fucks like the government. <laughs> Merch and other links available at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang out. I thought he was going to say nobody fucks you like the government. <laughs> Should, you know, pro that, that joke might work a little bit better, but uh, just, just the fact that this thing was, at, like, tested on cows, I actually find kind of hilarious. Like, because I don't know if the, that was, like, the standard back then, but, like, nowadays almost everything's tested on pigs. When it, like, you know, if you ever watch, like, uh, like testing of like sword sharpness or anything they always test it on pigs because it's supposed to be like the closest to a human in terms of like both size uh and like skin thickness and organ thickness and stuff like that i'm not exactly sure why but almost everything's tested on pigs now but i guess they just didn't get the memo and thought yeah fuck the pigs we're gonna we're gonna shoot some cows uh, that's just gold anyway let me know what you think below like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one